21st will be Tyler Reddick. Noah Gregson is back there in 22nd. 23rd to Ryan Priest. Christopher Bell, 24th. Eric Jones, 25th. 26th is Ty Gibbs. 27th, Zane Smith. Brad Keselowski, 28th. 29th, Josh Berry. Daniel Hemrick is 30th. At 31st, Ty Dillon. Todd Gilliland is 32nd. Chris Busher is running 33rd. Cody Ware, minus two laps, is 34th. Out of the race, Harrison Burton, 35th. A.J. Allmendinger, 36th. William Byron, 37th. 38th, B.J. McLeod. And 39th, Chase Elliott. Great flag is out. Denny Hamlin gets a nice jump on the field as they cross the yard of bricks. He'll lead that pack down to one. Yeah, John Hunter Nemechek's been a superstar on restarts. Denny Hamlin wasn't going to let him be the man this time. Hamlin leads the field out of turn number one. And John Hunter Nemechek will fall to that third position as Denny Hamlin leads the field out of turn number two. He has Ricky Stenhouse Jr. there in that second position. Chase Briscoe is in the fourth position. They're side by side to the rest of the field. It's a big time blocks going to the back because I think I see Joey Legato go to the inside as Hamlin gets heat from Stenhouse. Cars behind him are three wide, including Alex Bowman and Kyle Larson. Sport Clips Toyota has the advantage. That's trouble. Actually, turn number two, Martin Truex Jr. hard into the wall of the short shoot. He made contact with another vehicle, and there's more cars wrecking behind him. And there's another car spinning in the back of that. It's car number four, Josh Berry. So we'll have a yellow. It started exiting turn three, and then we had another car in Barry hit the wall. He now is in the middle of the short shoot on the north end of the track. Tough break there for Josh Barry in the Panini. Caitlin Clark machine as he nosed it into the wall and Martin Truex Jr. who had fought his way all back up into the top five now finds his car in the turn two wall and we'll follow up on that and see if we can get what caused this incident here in just a moment. While we have a little break in the action here let's introduce the president of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Doug Bowles. Doug first of all congratulations nice to see the crowd bump back up and when we have autumn like weather that's pretty nice too. It is, it is great. I'm just excited to have everybody back here. Great crowd for today's event. And uh, it's, uh, so far, it's been a competitive race, including this incident right here. Yeah, pretty crazy to think. Martin Truex Jr. had a great day going here, uh, worked his way back up into the top 10, top 5 after that pass-through penalty, and just really tight racing coming out of one of the turns, and almost like a, a, a two-separate incidents thing with Josh Berry after that. But, Doug, Indianapolis Motor Speedway, we talked about this at the open of our broadcast Driving, it's not even driving in here today. You know, we talk about energy in a building for a basketball game. Maybe it's at the Gainbridge Fieldhouse or something like that. This is truly energy throughout the entire neighborhood. Speedway, Indiana, all of the greater Indianapolis area, you know racing is in town from flags in people's yards to them painting their landscaping like a checkered flag and all of that. It's an amazing feeling that energy just grew as you got closer and closer to this racetrack. Yeah, and I think this year has even been better. Obviously, the last few years we've been trying to figure out how do you get attendance going again? How do you rebuild the Brickyard 400 back to the days like it was in 1994? We've got about 70,000 people here today. This is the biggest crowd we've had since 2017, so we're really excited about that. And a lot of that is just because we're coming back to the Oval. You know, we went through several years where people were like, ah, oh, don't do the Oval anymore, don't do it. We did three years of the road course, and everybody's like, okay, let's go back to the Oval. So pretty excited about that, celebrating that. We had a lot of the drivers from our very first Brickyard 400 here today, so that was pretty important. But you could definitely feel the energy leading up to this weekend, and certainly this weekend. I stayed out here. I haven't gone home since Thursday. And just to be out here with the fans, I mean, the fans are what make our sport so special anyway, but certainly this place, and it's definitely got a different energy level today. And talked to Roger a whole bunch over the last few days, and we're going to do everything we can to take this thing and continue to build it. That's that. That's Roger's word. We're going to do the best we can to make this the greatest race in the world. And it doesn't hurt when you get 70,000 people here and they've got autumn-like weather today, and they're not all out there wilting in 101. I, you know, and we even had that cloud cover there for a while, which has been really great to Today. So I think we're in the 80s, but with that cloud cover, it feels really good. You're right. We've had days out here where we're, we all know we're sitting around here in 100-degree weather, and it's pretty rough on all these bleachers. But uh, people were coming regardless of what the weather's been like, and uh, and this is just kind of a nice gift for them for sure. And not just the people coming, but a uh, big announcement right before the race here today. PPG continuing as the presenting sponsor here of the Brickyard 400. This is a great company who has been long in automotive and what we do but really long in motorsports and how they sponsor 100 percent. and even going back to the first brickyard 400 the trophy was the the brickyard 400 trophy presented by ppg from 1994 to 2000 so to have them back as a presenting sponsor of this race we just announced today that it's going to do that for the next five years that's an awesome thing for us they've got a ton of guests in here that they brought they're going to continue to so sort of roll that out throughout their network so it's a great partner who 
is in the automotive space, but frankly, he's in the motorsports space. I'm pretty excited to be here. And while you're here, I'm not going to let you get away without personally thank you. Just a few moments ago, he presented me one of the original bricks from the actual brickyard surface, and he says they don't give too many of them out to commemorate my retirement, and that that's really moving. I cannot tell you what that means to me. Thank you so very much. Well, no problem. As I told you, thank you for what you've done to our sport. All the people that are listening love your voice. There's a comfort in your voice. There's an excitement in your voice. You tell stories. You know, I tell people this all the time. TV's great. But you guys, what you do on the radio network really paints a picture that creates the excitement of the sport. And, and every time I turn on uh, Sirius XM, when I'm on the road listening to you, I just nothing like listening to your voice. Thanks for all you've done. Thanks for including our IMS radio network team uh, alongside you and so many other events. It means a whole lot. And, and there's nobody more deserving of a 115-year-old brick than you. So well, thank, thank you, so you much. very much. We may steal a couple of your guys down the road, by the way, because Mark James, Nick Yeoman have worked with us a lot and the rest of the crew. And you've built a really excellent broadcast crew here, Doug. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for having me, and thanks to all the fans that are listening, and let's keep this NASCAR this NASCAR series going. It's been a great year seeing all the fans show up everywhere. Everywhere we go, pretty much, the, ra- the fans show up this year. There's momentum for the NASCAR series, and uh, looking forward to what happens the rest of this year and certainly going into next. Awesome. If you've got 70,000 people, folks, that's a big crowd. It may not look it when you look at the overhead shot because this place is so massive. It's bigger than some counties, but that's a big crowd. And the other thing people don't know, the overhead shot, so many of our, unlike most racetracks, so many of our seats, especially as you go down turn one, are undercover. Mm-hmm. So from those overhead shots, you don't see all those people. And, and Shade sells tickets more than anything here at the Indianapolis Motor <laughs> Speedway. So, yeah. so they, yeah. you know, the first place you want to go is to Shade. But thank you so much, guys. Have a great rest of the race. Doug thank Bowles, you. president here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. That's their new campaign for next year. Shade sells tickets. Let's go down to Rich Nye. The 17th 